another day another new bundle that Lilith puts into rise of kingdoms and today we're going to talk about why this is quite possibly one of the worst bundles you could spend your money on what's going on guys cheers now I'm sure you guys are all aware of the new museum building that they have put into rise of kingdoms that has specific relics that will enhance the older commanders that are in the game for example Ethelfled gets 15 percent troop attack and 10 percent troop march speed all of these older commanders have some sort of relic that will give them a new buff that was implemented into rise of kingdoms which on paper sounds exciting and for some of us it is however unlocking these relics requires a couple of new pieces of currency and you can get these pieces of currency through a the explorer's reward which looks like a battle pass style system or you can spend 10 extra dollars or you can buy the new bundle that Lilith put into the game yes boys I was everybody's been asking for new bundles right yes Lilith I'm so happy a new way for me to spend 40 dollars a day guys I'm telling you right now don't buy the echoes of history bundle okay because here's the deal yes these commanders they did get a little bit of a buff okay but we're talking about the oldest commanders in the game we're literally the original commanders plus Mulan Ragnar YSG and Richard those are the only commanders that get a buff from these relics now this is a dangerous precedent for Lilith to set because this means in the future who knows are we going to see a Saladin buff with Genghis Khan buff Lord knows Khan needs a buff at this point we know that there's Edward and Tamiris how far are they going to push this relic system we don't know but what we do know is that right now it's only for the gold key commanders plus Richard and YSG which if you guys have been around for a long time they used to be in the gold keys but guys if you go through these buffs okay I don't think I really don't think that this update and these buffs from these relics are going to make any of these commanders any more meta than they already are right yes we can say this is a great buff for YSG but YSG was already good so any buff that he gets he's going to stay good what we really have to look at is are there commanders that were not good that are going to be good now and really I don't think so right I really don't think so when you compare these commanders even with these buffs are they better than you know XY Chandra like are you gonna use a Minamoto Tao Tao against an XY Chandra just because they got these buffs I don't know I just don't think that it's gonna be that big of a deal I don't think it's really going to move the needle now some of these commanders like Martel yes 30 percent more stats that's great right but Martel was already pretty good is this gonna bring back El Cid from the dead no it's not how about Barca nope everyone's talking about Mehmed right now saying this is a massive buff to him I think it's a decent buff is he going to be meta absolutely not absolutely not there's no way that 20 percent health and five he already had skill damage by the way uh so yes 20 percent health that's great and I'm happy that he got it but again is it going to shift the meta to where all of a sudden if you're not rallying with Mehmed you're on the losing side of a kvk no way no shot is he going to be a good secondary for your maybe second third fourth March in the open field sure maybe he's now more viable and I understand that but does a secondary to your third or fourth March justify buying a bundle it doesn't it does not there's just there's just no way that these buffs are are worth spending money on right because here's here's the thing when Lilith announced this change right they said that they were going to be buffing these older commanders they realistically they said that the reason they were doing this was to sort of bridge the gap from new season of conquest players who don't have that many commanders and the older season of conquest players who've been around for a long time who have all these new commanders right that's what this was trying to do was to bridge that gap but that's the same thing that they said when they introduced the legendary tavern like that's the whole point of the legendary tavern and the bundle that comes along with the legendary tavern right the legendary warriors bundle the point of this bundle was so that way new season of conquest players could get access to many of the commanders that old season of conquest players already had what about the daily special offer the reason that they let you pick all these newer commanders right and I know these aren't new commanders but they're newer commanders the reason for that is because now newer players can get access to these commanders sooner so that way they can use them in late in later kvks right the reason that the wheel of fortune and the mightiest governor changed to let you pick a commander was so that way when you entered season of conquest you could get access to these newer better commanders so they've already done two or three things in rise of kingdoms 
to make it easier for these new players to get access to the commanders that are now competitive and then out of the blue they've decided to buff old commanders which is good and and then put it behind a way that you can spend money i just don't understand why would anyone buy this bundle and buff your c and d tier commanders when you can buy the legendary warrior bundle and start working on getting new commanders right and let me just be clear is the legendary warrior bundle good no i would say it's good for maybe whales and that's pretty much it but the same can be said for this echoes of history bundle except this is just buffing old commanders whereas the legendary tavern actually gets you newer meta commanders so I just don't see a world where this bundle should be purchased by anybody unless it's your first season of conquest and you're okay with spending five or six figures on a mobile game if that's the case do whatever you want it doesn't matter but what I'm saying is I don't think these buffs move the needle enough to justify spending money on it so what I plan on doing for myself personally is I will go through the free battle pass feature and I will slowly invest in the commanders that I think are good so I'll probably start with Yi Song Ye. I'll probably move on to Martel. And then from there, we'll see how expensive it gets because the, the price may change over time. You know, the more of these you unlock, the higher the cost. And that's probably why they want you to spend money. Okay. But at the end of the day, am I going to spend money getting my Caesar 10% more damage? Hell no. That makes no sense. That makes no sense at all. These commanders are still going to be trash. And a, a year from now, there's going to be even more commanders in the game that are probably going to be even more powerful than the ones that are meta right now the Zenobia YSS's and the Zhang Yu Chandraguptas right there's going to be new commanders in a year that are better than them which will then put these commanders back in the same position they're in now which is useless so it will be a waste of money in a year because these commanders will continue to be outclassed unless they continue adding more buffs and I guess what guys if they do that they're going to add another bundle so it's a it's a trap this is this bundle is literally a trap I would say unless you are so rich you don't know what to do with your money don't buy this bundle just don't do it okay if you're a free-to-play player and you want to buff these commanders I would say go through the free battle class first see how far you can get with your important the key commanders the few that matter right the Esong Yeas if you're free to play maybe you want to buff Ethelflaed to put behind a Saladin or a Trajan or something like that but besides that I would not spend time and money investing in these old commanders that in a year are going to be right back where they are right now and that's the problem with adding this bundle it's just a cash grab it's just a short-term cash grab and that's the issue that rise of kingdoms has had for a year now every update is a short-term cash grab why i'm okay with these commanders getting in a getting a buff because they need it and i'm okay with it being behind a battle pass system what i'm not okay with is there being a premium tier battle pass system that costs ten dollars and i'm not okay with there being a bundle associated with it and i know that this is falling on deaf ears because time and time again lilith has proved that they don't know how to fix their game which it's a hard problem to fix okay it's a hard problem to fix when your best content was kvk2 and that was a long time ago i get that that's hard to fix but the constant short-term cash grabs like players are tired of it man they're tired of it and i'm here to tell you guys don't buy the echoes of history bundle and i personally am starting to just spend less in the game overall right i think moving forward i'm looking at the 30-day gem supply maybe the five dollar crystal tech bundle and i don't know what else i really even want to spend my money on because every couple months there's a new update with a new thing that's trying to take your money and like i get that this is a, it's a pay to win mobile game like let's be real that's what it is and i know that and i've been you know i play the game i'm, I'm very aware of that fact okay but it's just at a point where it's so blatantly obvious that they're asking you to pay for shit commanders like what do you do what are you doing what are you doing this was an opportunity for you to buff commanders and keep free to play players engaged and having fun with your game and and buffing the commanders that they actually are using but instead you've buffed it and put it behind a paywall for people to pay for when instead they've got 30 other bundles that they could buy to get commanders are, that are still better than these buffed or older commanders like what i'm gonna end it there i'm gonna end it there i'm not buying echoes of history bundle i don't think anybody else should either we should uh put our money where our mouth is you know and uh, i'm just i'm just sick of it man i'm just sick of it for all the free-to-play players and people who are just getting access to this system uh the the top the top row here getting getting you know the coins and the tokens and stuff like that to to buff one or two commanders uh for free that's gonna be awesome and i'm happy about that um but i just don't like can we have one update without a bundle like seriously one update I'm realizing that that's uh, that's too much to ask for at this point I should not expect 
anything from the developers that won't be behind a, a paywall which is just it's pathetic really but it is what it is guys if you enjoyed the video drop a thumbs up on it subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms rant video comment down below your thoughts on the echoes of history bundle do you think that this bundle is fair do you think that this bundle is something that players should be buying how do you feel about the museum system i would love to hear your comments in the comments section below drop a thumbs up on the video because it does help out the channel a ton with the youtube algorithm and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace